Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a video um, called My Parents Tried to Fix My Disability. Uh, first of all, my, my disability is, is more likely to remain permanent. So I have retinitis pigmentosa or Leibich disease. Um, yeah, so I basically, so my, visual, my vision impairment kind of happened when I was an infant and... And apparently, my my parents uh, uh just uh, wanted to find a uh, find a way that 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 uh that my my eyes would be able to see. So, you know, they're just hoping that that one day there would be a cure. And unfortunately, there isn't. So, you know, I'm making this video for you parents who have a visually impaired child or a child with a, with an, a, other disabilities. Um. Sorry, you just have to accept um, that your child has a disability and uh, find and find ways to cope with it, and and also uh, uh, find some help for your for your child so so that way they they know um, they know how to be independent while they still have a disability. Um, yeah. So specifically, I'm going to be focusing on on visual impairment. When your child has a visual impairment. And whether you just found out or you had a visually impaired child for a long time, um, I would ref um, I would uh, recommend that you refer them to the CNIB if you live in Canada or um, or RNIB if you live in the UK or um, American Action Fund for the Blind if you live in the States. Or AFB for short. The staff there will will help your child uh, maintain their independence. And I swear to God, without seeing IB, I would it would be hard for me to 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 get around independently. I wouldn't have the training necessary uh, to, in order to do that. And I'm actually glad that um, the CNIB has white canes, talking watches, talking measuring tapes, etc. I also like that CNIB has uh, camps that are exclusively for the visually impaired. So yeah, it, it gave me the opportunity to meet other visually impaired people. Like some were braille users, while others were large print users. So yeah, at least at, at least CNIB's there. As parents of someone with a visual impairment, it, there's no use uh, pitying for the child. There's there's no use feeling sorry for them. That's not gonna do anything. And when you do that, the child's gonna grow up um, like uh, feeling that the w world owes them things just because they have a disability. And I'm, I'm sorry, it doesn't work like that. I have visual impairment and I don't get special treatment. I, I, I'm treated just like everyone else, even at school. So the best thing you can do uh, is treat your child just like any other child, sighted or not. Have the same expectations for them. Like for example, expect, expect them to go to college, expect them to have a job, expect them to, to be able to have their own place someday. So yeah, accept your child for, for who they are. They're, they're going to be visually impaired or blind for the rest of their life, even into adulthood. There's, there's no cure. I'm sorry to say this, but this is reality. Although some, some forms of visual impairment are treated. Um, so for example, if they have cataracts, but if your child develops cataracts in their infancy, they, um, they have to be removed like right away. Uh, because their brain is still learning how to see, so if if you don't remove the cataracts and and they and they go into adulthood, they're not gonna learn how to see at all, even though the cataracts are removed. And just so you know, only the brain does the seeing, not the eyes. So the brain basically has to learn how to interpret um, what the eyes are giving to the brain. So yeah. Well, anyways, I hope this video helps, and I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.